What up y'all, it's your homeboy Justin. We're back in my bathroom one more again as usual. Today, what I'm bringing you is something kind of very simple, but something I've never done is braids. I don't know why I've never done braids. I don't know why. I'm just gonna show y'all what happens when I braid my entire head locks, all right? So, obviously, keep on watching, but before we continue with this video, if you have not watched last week's video, or I guess my last video, because it was like two weeks ago. If you haven't watched that yet, click right up there, okay? And I will see y'all in a little bit. Peace. <laughs> I have braided up all of my dreads as you can see and then also just line my hair and cut my hair you know make sure everything looks good some quick tips if you get to the end of your locks and you have maybe four locks left just take two of them and hold them together when you make the braid so I mean you'll have two locks in one strand and you'll have one lock in the other two strands um, sorry if that's confusing. Obviously, this is going to take a little bit longer if you're retwisting all of your locks like I did. This will even take more time if you have a full head of locks. You'll have a lot more hair to do. If you really want to try something interesting, where you do some braids with three locks in a braid and then other locks with maybe six or nine. Like you can just mix it up and see what happens because then you'll have really different types of textures in your locks as a whole. Um, with this, then you can obviously just wear it down. You can style it up. I just have it like this because I'm gonna take a shower before I have to go back to work. But do whatever you want to. If you need any type of style inspiration, check out one of my, or check out any of my videos in my um, dreadlock style tutorial playlist. Okay, it's on the main page. Click that. And we will continue this video in a few days, or I guess in a few seconds, <laughs> when my hair has had time to stay up in the braids. And then I'll take it down and I'll have some creamy locks. All right, so it has been three days since I braided my hair. I braided it on Tuesday night and Wednesday during the day, and so now it is Saturday. So now I'm going to unbraid my hair and we'll see what kind of texture we have here. Hopefully it'll be something nice. Also, while you're sleeping, remember, wrap your hair into something, do rag, bonnet, satin scarf, um, just make sure you keep your hair up and keep the moisture in. I'm gonna use some coconut oil on my hands, just to put down the locks from the braids. Um, you can use any other type of oil, like olive oil. If coconut oil does not work for you, you can use olive oil or any other type of oil like that. Some jojoba, some Jamaican black casserole would be good too. Something that's um, good for your hair. So that way, the dryness of your hands will irritate your scalp and your hair. <laughs> but yeah, let's take down these locks, shall we? I think what I'll do first actually is take off all of the rubber bands so that way 
I can just start unwrapping all at once. I'm about efficiency, so that's not. But no, since most of these rubber bands have broken off, this will actually won't be as bad of a thing. All right, so all the rubber bands are off. Now I'm gonna take some coconut oil, put it over my hand, and just, you know, take down these braids and see what happens. See what happens. I mean, really, you only need the coconut oil on your fingers. So I don't know why I grabbed so much. I'll be a little bit too happy. Okay, so yeah, just get some coconut oil on your hands and Start taking down your lofty little braids. It's gonna take you a minute, not as much as you know when you start it, but you're going to have to unbraid them all. So give yourself some time, get you a seat and or a stool. That's what I need. I don't know why I'm doing this to you now. Just do it, but not thinking. Was not thinking. And then essentially, you have to kind of unbraid this. You literally have to unbraid it because of the texture of your locks. And as they um, kind of bind, not bind together, but just, you know, the texture blocks, it's got that little Velcro action. So you just have to really make sure to unbraid your locks all the way to the roots. That's <laughs> what you'll have. Little, little crinkly curly locks. I actually like them. They're a lot tinier. I mean, they're pretty tiny, but I mean, I like them. I like them. I'm gonna do this a few more times. And then I'm gonna take me a seat and we gonna zoom after I've done all of this box. It's gonna take a minute. I might watch that episode of like I need to catch up on Quantico actually. So I might do that. see what this looks like. This is also a good way, like when you're, um, cause I retwisted all my roots, right? So this is a good way to maintain your roots if you put them in a style like this um, while you're retwisting. It'll also take longer, but I mean, if you're wanting to kind of preserve the roots in the parting of your, of your dreads, then definitely style them into something like two strand twists or braids, and they don't have to be the smaller braids, you can always do six locks instead of three, or even nine if you have really long locks or your locks are thin and whatever. But yeah, just keep unbraiding, and then once you're done, your hair will look a little bit like this. So this is what you get. Um, it took me an hour to do this too. Well, a little bit longer. I was watching Quantico. I was trying to catch up. I'm like still three and a half episodes behind. But yeah, this is what you get. Some crinkly behind locks. I kind of like it. I kind of don't, but I kind of do. But this is really more so just to see what it is. So I can, you know, plan in the future if I want to do this or not. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. So it just depends. It may grow on me in a few days. I figure maybe if I style it differently, then it will look better and I like it, so. Sometimes, I mean, that's the thing too. It's like people talk about this outfit look good on a rack, but it don't look good on you. I'm like, you usually, you have to style things a certain way for it to work. It, everything, every way, every, everybody ain't made for everything, but everything is made for everybody to style it right. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So, so this is the final look. Let me give you guys a quick little 360, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. There you go. <laughs> well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up right below me, right below this video. If you, um, what's the other thing I usually be talking about doing these little things? I forget, I have another video so long. Oh, questions or comments about this process. It's very self-explanatory, so I shouldn't get any more. Drop a little, you know, piece of advice if you have done this and if you like it or not. Um, one other little piece of advice is to remember that if you have locks that are combined, when you're taking all the rubber bands out, make sure not to take out those, you know, rubber bands too. Don't do that, okay? I kind of I kind of messed up a few times on that. Um, don't forget to share this content with anyone who you feel needs the know the information and hit me up on any type of social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest now. I got a little Pinterest. If you like the, um, 
music you are currently bumping on this video. Check out my SoundCloud for more instrumentals that you would like to use. Um, email me there as well. And if you haven't done this already, click the subscribe button, that little red button. And after you click the red button, click the little bell notification icon to, so that way when I post, it'll let you know and you'll get like a little you know email or a little pop up from your phone like, hey, Justin posts a new video. You're like, oh word, all right, I'll check that out. So do that, all right, all right. Well, thank y'all for watching. Um, if you wanna watch last week's video, click up there. If you wanna watch a playlist of more Dread videos, click over there. And of course, click that subscribe icon right there, okay? And until next time, peace.